I will talk to you of art, for there is nothing else to talk about, for there is nothing else. Life is an obscure hobo bumming a ride on the omnibus of art. Burn gas buggies and whip your sour cream of circumstance. Walter, have you been talking to yourself again? Well, I, I guess maybe I have, Mrs. Swicket. Somebody's got to. Walter, you know, what you need is a girl. Don't you believe that life is an obscure hobo bumming a ride on... But I also believe creative living. To be uncreative, you might as well be in your grave. Are you a painter? Well, well no, I, I work... Uh, I'm working on something that's not ready yet. What is it, man? Finger painting? Well, I am working on something. I'll show you soon. This is a canvas or a painting. A rock is a rock or a statue. Be a nose. Be a nose. You like it? You made that? How come you put a knife into it? I didn't mean to. Just got carried away, huh? So... You all right, Frankie? Repetition is death, Frankie. How do you like my cat? You make this thing mad? Uh-huh. It's crazy. Crazy. You wanna buy it? For me, man? I'm tapped. And congratulations, man. Walter, you're famous. Now, how'd you do it, Walter? All right. Just took some clay and fixed it up. That master sculptor is in our midst. He's none other than Walter Paisley. Our very own busboy. I'm an artist, Mrs. Swicker. Uh, oh, sure you are, Walter. Walter, I dug it. My cat? It was the most wonderful, wildest, like, wickiest thing I've ever seen. Walter, you've done something to me. Something deep down inside of my prana. I have? Oh, Walter, I want to be with you. You're creative. Can I have your autograph, Mr. Paisley? Why, certainly, my good woman. You want to buy my statue, mister? $10,000? Okay. What are you going to make next? A dog, maybe. Or a bird. How about a few dozen cockroaches from your room? <laughs> To hurt you, Lou. But if you'd have shot me, you'd be mopping up my blood now. I didn't know you had it in you, Walter. How'd you do it? Well, I just took some clay and fixed it up. Look at the size of it. Don't you like it? Walter, it's a masterpiece. I, I didn't realize how much talent Walter actually had. I see the rewards of achievement have come your way. Well, after all, I'm a successful sculptor now. Why is the busboy sitting here? I'm not the busboy anymore. That's right. Walter has become a sculptor. I'm a model, you know. I only charge $25 an hour. Would you like to do me? And if you're going to be an artist, you've got to do nudes, nudes. Right, right, right. Ain't nobody an artist unless he does nudes. Will you get them out of here before we wind up in night court? I don't like you. <laughs> nobody asked for your opinion, Walter. You're just a simple little farm boy, and the rest of us are all sophisticated beatniks. How's this pose? Well, that's fine. It's very good. Walter, I can't believe it. I'm honored to know this man. More champagne, your majesty? Here, here. Where, where? There, there. Tell us what you're going to do next, Walter. I'm going to make the most wonderful, wildest, wickiest things you've ever seen. I'm going to make big statues and little statues, tall statues and short statues. I'm going to make the statues and nobodies and statues of famous people. Everybody will say, Walter, let me shake your hand. It's gonna really
real pleasure to have known you. I don't want you to make any more statues. You understand? No more statues. Why not? I gotta make statues, Leonard. You heard Brock, they want me to make them. But first of all, you've got to stop making these horrible statues. But, but you said I was a genius. I don't want to be a busboy anymore. I think he really is sick. So who isn't? Where are you going, Carla? What's the matter? Walter, there's a body inside that statue. Oh, well, that's Alice. It's all right, Carla. Let them become clay in his hands that he might mold them. Walter, you stay away from me. We have many artists about, but no craftsmen. This man knows his anatomy. 